Well, how do you do, everybody? Welcome to baseball action as the new Trier Trevians and non-conference game take on the Libertyville Wildcats. And we join this game in progress. Ground ball, second over to first. Not in time. Safe on the fielder's choice. Making an infield single. We had a bit of a mechanical camera issue here. Ground ball. Throw over to first. Not in time. Fielder's choice by Jimmy McGovern. Yeah, we missed one batter. Riley Lee grounded out second to first, and then Voigt reached on an infield single. Out on the fielder's choice, and this is Mitch Townsend batting. Oh, a camera issue. Dundut had struck us here a little bit. Well, we're up and running. Delivery on the way outside a ball. Top of the first inning. And again, the wind blowing in today. Strike two, throw to second. Nope, not in time. Stolen base. And Jimmy Govern with the stolen base. Libertyville Lake County team. Strike three, and that'd be it for the top of the first. So after a half inning of play, no score between the Libertyville Wildcats and the Nutrient Trevians. And Scott Hamas leads it off. And takes a pitch low and away a ball. Ball what? We're here at New Trier. That side of ball, two and out. Ball three. To the Trevian's leadoff bat. Strike on the outside corner, although look a little outside corner. <laughs> yeah, ball four. So Hamas aboard and Kevin Donahue the batter. Sun's out at least. Throw to first runner back. Joe Bunt pitch outside a ball. They lock and load. Went to bunt. Missed. Bunted through it. Strike. Showed bunt. Instead, Hamas takes off. Steal second. And is aboard there. In scoring position. Nobody out. The lefty delivers high and outside of ball. Strike, strike three. And here is Mike Hurley. Go back to second. Hamas back. High and outside the ball. There goes Scott Hobbes, and he's going to have another stolen base. So two in his
first. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm getting too old here. There's a strike. So Hamas put himself on third. Getting on base via the walk. That two stolen bases. So runners at the corners. Senior moment. <laughs> it's, you're getting a lot of them, buddy. Uh, here's Matt Bosco. John the first. And Hurley back. Ground ball. They flipped the second out on uh, first. And they say not in time. That's the fielder's choice. And the run home. Here's Jake Reynolds. Sound of turn leads one nothing. Straight. Libertyville, Lake County, 176, and, and roughly yeah, probably about four or five blocks west of Milwaukee Avenue. Out of first, runner back. They just tore down the original high school building. And they've been over at that new one now since the 1950s or thereabout. Foul ball. Outside of ball. Three and two to count. Strike three, and that's it for the first. And the end of one, it's New Trier one and Libertyville nothing. We'll be back with more. Metro Chicago Sports Network. You can follow us on Facebook or Twitter or subscribe on YouTube. Stop the text. Stop the wrecks. Drive now. Text later. No text is worth dying over. A message in the public interest. From the Metro Chicago Sports Network, where we go to the top of the second inning. Between Libertyville and New Trier. Here's Ryan Jackson to lead off the top of the second for the Wildcats of Libertyville. One of the <laughs> one of the uh, teachers over at uh, Liberty Belt was a color commentator for me once at the New Trier Evanston game, and he kept on calling the Evanston team the Wildcats. I said, "No, they're the Wild Kids." What made it all the more f- hysterical was he went to Evanston, very large athlete at Evanston, but he kept on calling. <laughs> The Evanston basketball team, the Wildcats, instead of the Wild Kids. Because he's so used to working in Libertyville. The pitch low and inside a ball. Ryan Jackson, the batter. And takes a strike on the inside corner. At the letters. Ground ball. Donahue on over to first. And one up, one down. Here's Ben Mansky. Number six in the batting order for the Wildcats. These two teams will not meet again. They're not in the same uh, 
super sectional. So I suppose the only way they could meet, if I remember how the playoffs will work here, they may not meet until like the final four. I think that's the way that works. At Lake County, strike three. Mansky's out on the strikes. Tim Fox on the mound for the Trevians. Sean Ferraro, the batter. I think the way the super sectionals work, I think the super sectional the Trevians are in goes to Schaumburg, to the Schaumburg Minor League Ballpark. And the Lake County group, Libertyville, so forth, uh, Stevenson, even Glenbrook South in that group. And they go out to Rockford, to the Rockford Minor League Ballpark. I pop up. Everybody giving chase, and nope, can't, can't get there. High and outside the ball. And that one is high and inside the ball. Fox delivers. Ground ball. First baseman Bosco over to Fox covering. And that's it for the top of the second. Three up, three down for the Wildcats. We go to the bottom half of the second inning. And it's one nothing, New Trier. Max Rosenthal takes a strike. Strike two. And pitches up in the eyes. Ball. One and two. And the count even's up at deuces. And pitch high a ball. Trevians having some hitting trouble. They're not hitting very well. They've gotten lucky. They've got some key stuff. But I think all year long. And Nutcher's not the only high school around having that problem. Strike three, Rosenthal out. Here's Alex Kaplan. Ground ball. Second baseman. Over to first in time. Two away. And here's Dylan McGuire. Dylan is... Stepped in to play third base. Kind of relearning the position. And he's doing a pretty good job doing it. Here's a strike. And high and outside a ball. I notice the big downtown guys are all talking about those south and west side teams, but I also notice that the guys that are doing that the fly ball to right. Well, I'll talk about it next inning. Champions go quietly in the second as well. Three up, three down. At the end of two, it's one nothing. New Trier. We'll be back. The Metro Chicago Sports Network on cable and the internet. 
You drink. You drive. You lose. A message in the public interest. From the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Where we go to stop the third inning of this ball game. Nick Grassetti leading it off. No, I was talking. Uh, I tried to say it. The bottom of the second. But, uh, you know, I noticed the rankings, the, the school rankings and so forth. And, and all the discussion on, in baseball today is all done by street agents. I mean, it's like... And I think it's a disservice because the parents, the only way they get the information are the street agents that are telling them, you you know, oh, you've got to go to showcases and blah, 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 and all this other nonsense. And what's going on is that you end up that the players really don't develop. Strict three. And Nick was setting up. And... They get an unjustified opinion and a totally inaccurate opinion on uh, on a player and and how that player has developed and needs to do to continue to develop. Back to the top of the batting order, Riley Lease, the batter, high and tie the ball, and the count's blackjack. I mean, I'm hearing it to the point it's it's scary. It's no longer about the player, in a sense. It's about the parent's ego. And it's about the sales pitch that that these people are, are throwing around to sell their program. Lease is tagged out on the drop third strike. And Jake both the batter. So two out, nobody on. Boy, I scored that wrong. <laughs> My score broke. Out of pitch, you're in there for strike. Jake Vogt, the batter. Yeah, foul ball back. Out of play. And pitch high ball. You know, what? what's so funny is I'm thinking of a couple of players now, the more recent players that have really gotten notice of there's only been one or two that drop third strike, throw it a first, and a runner sick. So two out. And Runner on. Show the bunt. Throw. Not in time. Still on base. Outside a ball. ball up throwing in time and we go to the bottom half of the third and it remains one nothing new trier we'll be back this is the metro chicago sports network 
Here's Will McNulty laid it off. Just brought up. I earlier I said Donahue threw out. Wasn't well, Donahue? It was McNulty. McNulty's been brought up. Uh, Clay Sosinski out for a little while. A couple of days has soreness in the foot. Blackjack to McNulty, and he's got himself a base hit. So a single for Will McNulty, and here is Scott Hamas. Throw the first runner back. Goes to bunt, bunted at foul. Not a cloud in the sky today, thank goodness. Now the lock and load, and that's low a ball. Quick throw over to first, runner back. Outside the ball. Runner with the lead. And the pitch low, a ball. And three to one to Hamas. And a quick throw over to first. McNulty back. And strike, and the count goes full at three and two. To Scott Hamas. And it's all the ground ball. Second baseman out at second. And out at first, actually, on the double play because uh, McNulty left the base path to try and take the runner out. Ground ball, and now thrown away for the error, and Donahue safe at first. Yeah, that's a double play, uh, Scott Hamas. McNulty out at second, but he slid off the bag deliberately trying to take the runner out, and in doing that, Scott Hamas is out at first, so that double play. There goes Donahue, and the stolen base. So off the error, Donahue aboard now at second. Mike Hurley the batter. Time call. Quickie little discussion. Look back. Keep Donahue safe. Keep uh, Donahue uh, close to the bag. And the ball gets away. Well, that didn't work. And on the pass ball over to third goes Kevin Donahue. So runner at third. As Hurley continues to bat here. And low and outside the ball. Matt Bosco on deck. As Hurley draws the walk. So runners at the corners. And Matt Bosco the batter. Ground ball foul just outside at third. Fly ball, center fielder. Takes it for the out. And we play 2-3. It's one nothing new trigger. We'll be back. 
This is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Seat belts. Click it or ticket, Illinois. It's the law. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the fourth inning. Got ourselves pretty much a snappy ball game here. Jimmy Govern leading it off. Each team with just one hit. And Fox. Delivery is a strike on the outside corner. He had about the letters. Round ball. One bouncer. Over to first. One up, one down. Here's Mitch Townsend. And Townsend takes a strike. Townsend struck out his first time up. Batting here. And has a ground ball. McNulty. Uh, Fox might have gotten a piece of that. But uh, scored as they scored it second to first. So two down. Here's Ryan Jackson. And fouled off to the left. High and outside a ball. And strike three. Three up, three down for the Libertyville Wildcats in the top of the fourth inning, halfway home with the ball game. And the Dutrier Trevians leading this one by the score of one to nothing. As we go to the bottom half of the frame. And Jake Reynolds leading it up. They can pitch outside of ball. Ball one. Goes to butt. And they'll let it roll foul. Didn't roll foul by much. So Reynolds, Rosenthal, and Kaplan do up here in the bottom half of the inning. Pitch is low and outside a ball. High and outside a ball. Three and one. Fly ball right field. Right fielder over. Hands. One up, one down. Here's Rosenthal. And takes one up in the high and tight. Up in the face. Ball one. Yeah, ground ball. Back up the middle. Short stop. Nice move to his left. Throws him out. Two down. And ground ball second baseman. Over to first. And that went quick. So we played through four and it's still one nothing. New Trier. We'll be back. Selected games of the Metro Chicago Sports Network are available YouTube on demand. Simply type in the game you want to watch. That is New Trier Baseball versus Libertyville or whatever it is. And select your games are available that way to watch anytime, anywhere. 
Texting and cell phones are dangerous, distracted driving, and now illegal in Illinois. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Where we go to the top of the fifth inning of this one. Ben Manske leading it off for the Wildcats to face Fox. Line shot down the line, foul down in the corner, out in the street. And a line shot. It's going to be a gamper out there up against the fence and over, bounces over, ground roll double. And Mansky aboard. At second is Sean Ferraro. Fly ball, shallow, and taken, and throw back to second. I don't know where Mansky was going. I guess he thought it was going to drop in for the single. But in any case, it's a double play. Scored 8-4. Reynolds to McNulty. Here's Nick Grassetti. He struck out his first time up. Right. Yeah, fall ball. Off to the left. Yeah, that's going to be a base hit to the left. The single. Two out single puts Rossetti aboard. And here's Chase Patterson. He struck out his first time up. And the pitch high a ball. Draw the first. Ball gets away. Stolen on the error. And uh, off to second goes Rossetti. So he's in scoring position. Trevian's in a pitcher's duel today. One nothing. With the lead, there's a strike. Tim Fox has gone the distance. Ground ball, little comebacker to Fox. And the underhand flipped the first, and we go to the bottom half of the frame. And we're in the fifth inning. And Dylan McGuire will lead it off. And takes a strike, strike one. McGuire, McNulty, and Hamas. Eight nine one and the Trevian batting order new up here. Here's strike on the inside corner. And a pitch high a ball. Line shot right back up the middle. Base hit for McGuire. And he's aboard at first. 
and here's Will McNulty. And uh, Mike Gallo, pinch running. And the ball gets away. Gallo on his way to third on the air, and he is safe. So runner at third. And Will McNulty, the batter. Bottom of the fifth inning. Nobody out. Infield pulled in. There's a fly ball. Center fielder comes over. Has it for the out. Here comes the runner home. Here comes the throw. They got him. Gallows out at home. So at an 8 2 double play. And two away is Scott Hamas, the batter. Outside of ball, ball one. And strike inside. What a what? The Hamas. Uh, one and two, he's saying. Okay. Did I, I missed something somewhere there, obviously. A ground ball, second baseman over has it over to first in time, and we play two five, and it remains one nothing. New chair leading Libertyville. We'll be back. The current list of games and the great games of the past. You can find them at the Metro Chicago Sports Network.com homepage. Through the Metro Chicago Sports Network, obviously. We'll be back with more. If you're going to drink, don't drive. If you're going to drive, don't drink. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the sixth inning of this one. Very quick ball game. Top of the batting order. Riley Lease leading it off. And goes to offer. And they say no. And he gets rise eye, everybody. Ball one. And straight. He sure looked to me like he offered, but Umpires are like my older brother. They're always right. <laughs> Delivery on the way. Now he goes and offers. Strike one and two. And the counting was up at deuces. Ball first baseman right to him, right to Bosco. He steps on the back. One up, one down. Here's Jake Vogt. Uh, Vogt uh, single back in the first was a race on fielder's choice. Grounded third to first. Adding here for the third time. Takes a pitch high ball. Side of ball. There's a high pop up. Don Hugh calls for it. Moves in a little bit. Takes it for the out. Two down. Jimmy Govern. And the pitch. Strike on the outside corner. Strike one. (laughs) 
mentioned it earlier in the ball game. I'm, I'm finding too much of our sports these days money and ego driven. Pitch is high a ball. Blackjack on the cap. Strike. Off the end of the bat, ground ball to McNulty over to first. And three up, three down. No run, so hits, so here's nobody left. We go to the bottom half of the sixth inning. And it remains 1-0 New Trier. And Kevin Donahue leaning it off. And first pitch hitting, ground ball, short stop. Up throwing in time. What up with that? Here's Mike Hurley. He has walked twice. Here's a strike. Like ball games like this. Snappy ones. So we're gonna be straight. And high and outside a ball. Side of ball. And strike three on the inside corner. So two away. And Matt Bosco, the batter, takes a ball low and outside. And soft little liner and a great catch by the center fielder out there. And three up and three down. So we go to the seventh and it remains one nothing. New Trier will be back. Selected games are available on YouTube On Demand from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. The use of any tobacco products on school grounds is illegal under Illinois law. That includes parking lots. That includes the dugouts, coaches. Not so much the new tour guys, but I have seen visiting coaches that have done that. It is illegal. Message in the public interest. From the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Hi ho! Hi ho, hi ho, to the seventh inning we go. Mitch Townsend letting it off. Takes a pitch inside for a ball. In there for a strike. And low ball. Fox has worked the distance. Swing and a miss. Strike. Now the pitch high and outside a ball. And the count's gone full to Townsend. Ball tip, got a little piece of it. Outfield actually playing slightly shaded. 
Ground ball. Short stop over to first. One up, one down. And that's it for Tim Fox. He pitches six and a third innings. A great bit of work. And Andy Irolano on to finish this one off. To face Ryan Jackson. And strike, strike one. Inside the ball. And a ground ball. Third to first. Two down. Here's Ben Mansky. He doubled his last time up and then Mental mistake caused him a little pop up foul taken by McGuire, and the ball game is all over. Final word on this ball game for the New Church Trevians one run on two hits. They did commit one error, they were struck out four times. Trevians had three men walked. Neutral left three on base and three stolen bases. For the Libertyville Wildcats, no runs on three hits, two errors. They were struck out six times. Tim Fox and the two pitchers faced, two batters faced by Andrew Irvellano. But there were no walks issued by the Trevian pitchers. Three left on base for Libertyville and three stolen bases. So that'll do it for us for this ball game. Stick around for more baseball action. Champions kind of get into the meat of their bat of their uh, schedule now with uh, Maine South and Niles West and Glenbrook South and Evanston still to go in the conference. And that'll do it for us for this one. Hope you enjoyed the broadcast. Stick around for more sports action here on the network. And for all of us, we say as always, thanks for watching and so long, everybody.